Hey, what is going on guys? I am the Explosive Gamer and welcome to Styx Master of Shadows. Uh, it's the free to play on PlayStation Plus until the end of the month, I'm pretty sure. I don't know exactly how PlayStation Plus works exactly. But yeah, it's free to play. I already played this, the first level-ish to get this, but it, uh, it didn't record properly. So let's get a uh, new game. And there is a lot of cutscene in this one, too. Yeah. Like the first, what, five to ten minutes of this is cutscene? Or it felt like five to ten minutes, probably like three minutes, but still. So the entire point, I'm pretty sure, of at least the first level is to get to that tree that you're seeing right there. Reminiscence. I think. Reminiscence is. I don't know how to pronounce it anyway. Press the cross button. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors, and they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret, the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those to my misfortune. Ah, this noise. These voices. I can't stand it. Amber. That damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams. All the thoughts of those who've wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans. Elves. All their private little chatter is mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head for all these years. It took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it. Well, I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree. It's why I'm here. That, at least, I am sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop your weapon. And it starts now. Beast, wake up. Answer when Lord Barnumin speaks to you. Who are you? Speak. My name is Styx. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father, that's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak. Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> elves. If you only knew. They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the elves and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh yes, you do need the elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh yes, you do need the elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs. And I intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here. They're dying to get their tree back, eh? But they won't do a thing. We have an agreement. An agreement? We don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins. <laughs> 
You're out of your depth, Mr. Governor. Oh, ho, 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 you've got some nerve. <laughs> I'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree. Oh, but I have seen it. Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there, almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it, because you're not leaving the tower. Beginning of the game was where we first play. The heart of the tree, yeah. Oh, this headache. What? What? Where was I? I should be able to climb up there. Okay. Did you see the dagger that Duncan found? I wonder where it comes from. It's not from here. Yeah, well, don't get excited. We'll play for it with dice tonight. In the meantime, keep your hands off. Okay, okay. I'll wait till tonight. Those accents, though. Come on, let's go. They must be talking about my dagger. It can't Didn't be far to fall away. off there. I should drink this flask. It would perk me up a little. There we go. Well, Come on up. We More climbing, I go. guess. Didn't mean to do that. Fuck. <clears throat> really? Really, bruh? I lost health because of that. Really? Come on. There we go. I'll stay out of sight until I find my dagger. Okay. Didn't go through the thing. Oh god damn it. God damn it. I know what I'm doing, it's just like I messed up. Press the cross button. Okay, good. I made it. Is he in the thing? No, he's not. God damn it. Stuck in there. Okay. What was that noise? Oh fuck. Okay. Always keep to the shadows. And walk where it doesn't make too much noise. Avoid running. He's looking right at me. Farting. Yes, avoid farting. Important. They don't know what's happening. There's the tree. The world tree. It seems so close. But it's but so far. It's so big that it seems to be close. But I still got a long way to go. I do, do I? So, from what I heard, the 
only access to the heart is a bridge which that two-faced governor Baron has had closed off with a tamper-proof lock, and he keeps the only key in his apartments. And okay. If that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. I'm gonna have to go down into the prisons and free my uh, friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> so if I'm gonna survive in this tower. I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and then it's off to work. Okay. So what to do here? He's gotta hide. Uh, gotta be sneaky here. If I stay under there, I won't be seen. Now walk away, mister. I gotta wait for him to move. Again. Ah, there we go. Ah, there's my dad. I was afraid that I lost you, my beauty. Hmm. There are maps of this old stuck up here. They might huh? be useful for finding a way to the tree. Let's see. We got maps of the area. Is someone there? Need more than that to get what no. I want. I must have been mistaken. Yes, you were. Come on, open this lock. One-handed lock picking, because you know skills. Huh? Okay, now what do I want to do? Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, last time I played this, I jumped right off the edge. Because smart man I am. Assassin's rule number one. Always strike from behind. Especially when the fucker is twice your size. <laughs> and remember to land on the carpet to make less noise. Okay, dude, I have a knife. Can't leave this stiff lying around. That would be messy. Where can I hide it? Dude, how how can he carry something like this? No, I can look under the table. Come on. I'm dumb. Good choice. I have to fight. Gotta find the best moment to counter his attacks. No. Okay. I think I've got this down. Is there another cupboard in here? I'm gonna go put it back down here. Oh, nope. That doesn't work. I'm just gonna bring it with me. Here, oh, here's someone. Mm, I think I'm safe.
Come on. Open. All right. Let's keep going. I can put out no my time. Oh no it's not, never mind. Oh there was someone else right there. I'm good at this now. And last of all... See, I'm getting good at this. It, it gets easier once I know what I'm doing. More and more I want to know what I'm doing. Uh, I, have a, I already have enough of that, so... Okay. Ah, fuck. You fucking attracted two of them. Okay, so since we died here, uh, and it's about at 20 minutes of the recording, hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next part. Peace.